Hi there, teachers. It's great to see you again. So today we're going to be talking about student motivation, and I'm really excited to chat to you about this topic. I just posted on the blog the other day about an updated version that I've just released of my challenge board. And if you've never heard of my challenge board before, then this is like a big kind of like a wall of fame and there's all these different challenges on it you can see them on the blog all the different things that students can achieve and the secret of all these things are the things that they're things that students might not do if they didn't have an extra motivation to do them right so things like scales and technique and transposing even is up there and the ones i've just added our sight reading practice. So using the Piano Safari sight reading cards, I absolutely love those. And also some extra practice challenges. Last year I shared my 100 days of practice challenges. That's on my board. And I want to show you, the reason I want to chat to you about this now is I just got a new shipment in of my wonderful stickers. <laughs> so I love these. These go on the front of students folders and they're just they're such a fun way to recognize student achievement and students um, hard work basically because they're all things that they can achieve if they just try it's not about magic talent and uh, no magic sauce involved it's all about just them trying to achieve these things and then they do so for instance let's say this one right here, we have two sight reading challenges here. So that sight reading scholar, that would be for students to finish all the sight reading cards that correlate with level one Piano Safari. Now, even my students not in Piano Safari also use those sight reading cards, so that's great for them. You also see this new one here. This is, uh, there you can see it just about there. That is the 30 practice bullseyes. And this is all about me working on those practice targets that I've been talking about lately. And I'm going to be sharing on the blog on Sunday, I'm going to be sharing exactly how students achieve that badge and what's involved in setting those targets and achieving them, what I'm expecting them to do. So that one is really fun. Then we've got Technique Wizard. Now, I left that one kind of vague because Technique Wizard could be in several different technique books and I wanted to keep it open to all different types of students. But it's a great way for students to focus on their technique, whether they're doing piano safari animal techniques and trying to achieve all of those really good performances of all of those different techniques. Or maybe they're in Technique Trainer by Jackie Sharp. They could be finishing all the techniques in there. It could be any of those. Then see, here we have some of my older ones. We've got 60 second challenges, which are the note naming challenges. 100 days of practice is right there that uh, I had up last year on the blog, or last academic year, last May, I think. And then you can't quite see that one, but it says anytime, anywhere, anyone, excellence. So that's about students memorizing five pieces and reliably performing those in all sorts of situations. So that's a really fun one. Going to be sharing more details on that soon two and is there any other new ones no i think that's the new ones so there's those and then there's the ones i already had up there which are my scale challenges which you can get full details on the blog about those and all of that good stuff so if you're looking to get these stickers printed by the way i do recommend moo and um, moo.com thing is available in the us and everywhere else um i use the uk one but those are fantastic to get these stickers made up and there you can't see quite how nice they are over the webcam but they're really nice glossy stickers and they're really presentable and they go on the front of my students folders which i love now before i let you go i want to show you as well some of the brand new games that have just been added to the vibrant music teaching library because these are really fun so the first one i've got just added let's step back so you can see a bit that's key clamber Okay, so this is for beginning students. And what they're gonna do is race up the keyboard using different die. So the die have um, CDE on them or FGAB. So I'm sp splitting it up into the two 
groups of black keys so that they can really get the practice with that. So that's great for preschoolers. On a completely different level, we've got memorable modes. These are really fun ones. They're like, uh, kind of like Mad Libs, right? Same kind of idea. So for example, this is Ionian's Jolly Jaunt. Ionian was off to town skipping all the way. He came across a blank. So the student has to fill it in there and said, hello, good day. Now the thing about these is, so there's a whole poem there. Won't read the whole thing. But the thing about these is that students are filling in the blanks. So they're interacting with them, but each story has been devised so that it represents kind of the flavor of the mode. So Ionians is really, you know, uh, jolly, as it says, it's a jolly jaunt, it's upbeat, nothing bad happens. Then there's one that's kind of maritime and, you know, so they all match up with the modes, the mood of each mode to help students remember what they sound like. Then we've got Don't Minor My Major. This is a really fun game where we're, um, they've got chord flashcards, okay? and they need to identify those in order to lay out tokens onto their chord, uh, onto their little keyboard that they have in front of them. But then if they get one of the special cards, they can alter the other one's chord so that it becomes minor. Their goal is to have a major chord when the game is up. So that's a really great one to do with early intermediate students first working on major minor chords and identifying them with all the different keys. Then we've got finger footsteps. This is for beginners. It's about stepping and skipping. And what students do, which is just super, we did this yesterday with a six-year-old and seven-year-old that I have together. And what they're doing, this is hard to do on the screen, but they'll be walking up the board like that. Hope you can get the idea for that as they're stepping and skipping. So they step or skip over the spaces and that's the correlation there. And then the last brand new one that's just been added to the library is Sidestep Sulfa. See that one there? Okay, so this is Sidestep Sulfa. Now Sidestep Sulfa comes with these big Sulfa cards like this. And then individual levels of these uh, reading cards like this one. So that is the first level and it only includes Do, Re, Mi. So if you're playing with that level, you would lay out Do, Re, Mi on the floor and then students can make each other sing the correct notes or you can make a student sing, you could just be one-on-one -on -one, by standing behind each sulfur card. Um, to convey the message on the card, okay? We were doing this at group classes last week and it was really fun and it really got them interacting with Sulfa. Kind of, this this idea kind of comes from, do you know that TED Talk? The TED Talk with Bobby McFerrin and he's playing the audience. It's quite an old TED Talk, it's from ages ago. At least I think it's TED. Anyway, it's Bobby McFerrin and he's jumping from side to side to get them to sing in the pentatonic scale. Um, and it's, it's just a great video, really fun to watch, really enjoyable, showed to students and everything, uh, which is great. But this is that kind of idea, but applied in a music theory concept. Uh, so those are the five brand new games, right? On top of that, there's also tons of other games already in the library and tons of other stuff already in vibrantmusicteaching.com. And I just wanted to let you know that tomorrow the price is going up. So if you're watching this right now as it comes out, if you're watching this within 24 hours of the video, you still got a chance to get in at $7.95 US dollars per month for your Vibrant Music Teaching membership. Then it's going up. So get in while you can. It's You just go to vibrantmusicteaching.com slash membership to get access to that. And you'll get those brand new games, all the other games, all the other games and everything else um, that's included, like the teaching videos and all the other fun stuff that's happening in there. So jump on over to vibrantmusicteaching.com slash membership to learn more about that. And I hope you have a fantastic Tuesday. I'll catch you next week in the next Tuesday teaching chat.